Was it your group that had some problems with a teacher over a soccer ball? Yes. We were playing soccer. It was after 7 a.m. A teacher wanted us to stop. The ball was right in front of me, so I kicked it. And it grazed her head. Did it happen here? Yes, over there. The teacher took me to her office and criticized me, and she took the ball away. She took it away from everybody just to punish one person. So she confiscated the ball, is that it? Yes. She confiscated it. The ball uh, wasn't aimed at her. I didn't do it on purpose. She pokes her nose into everything, even kicking a ball. She's always butting in. She'd already criticized me once over a problem with a cup. I haven't forgotten that. It explains the thing about the ball. You don't like her very much, do you? That's right. Why not? Because she criticized me over nothing. And what do the rest of you think about this? It's no big deal. Just someone kicking a ball. What do you think of your teacher? Is she strict? Yes, very. Well, not too strict. When it comes to politics, she asks a lot. But she can be nice, too. Do you think what happened is serious? No, it's nothing, nothing at all. Kicking, kicking a soccer ball, it's really nothing. She's always after me. She's already lectured me once. I didn't like it. And she holds a grudge. It's not very nice of her. She really has it in for me. Do you all agree with him? Yes. Is that what you're going to say at the meeting? Sure we will. Of course, we're going to get everything out in the open. That way the other students can judge. Exchanging points of view with our teacher helps us work together democratically. It happened two days ago. It was 7 a.m. when I arrived at the school. I saw the students playing soccer on the ball field. I said, the bell has rung. You have to stop your game. Most of them stopped, except for one tall boy. Instead of stopping, he kicked the ball hard. Whop. The ball almost hit my head. I was really angry. Don't you know you're not allowed to play after seven? Yes, he said. Then why did you keep on playing? Don't make a big deal out of it, he said to me. It wasn't you I kicked. I was furious. Is he going to be punished? What are you going to do? No, no, no punishment. We'll all get together to work out the problem. We'll deal with it politically, that's all. Before, we used to punish them. We made them stand in the corner or sent them out of class. If we had to, we called in their parents. We could even expel them. We don't do that anymore. Teachers and students are equals now. We reason things out from the facts. This problem itself isn't so serious. What's serious is that he defends himself when he knows he's wrong. Comrades, we're holding this meeting to help Chia Yan Ming. He continued to play ball after the bell rang. He broke the rules, you know that, don't you? Yes. He played after the bell, and when the teacher asked him to stop, he kept on playing. So we've invited Mrs. Tong to this meeting. 
please say whatever you think, all right? There's something I'd like to say. I don't know the comrades in this class very well. I don't even know your name. But since this problem's come up, it's important for teachers and students to lay everything on the table. We must all speak our minds. If your comrade's at fault, tell him. If you think I didn't handle the matter properly, you should tell me. Several of us were playing soccer that morning. We didn't hear the bell. Mrs. Tong asked us why we were playing after the 7 o'clock bell. So we stopped playing, except for Jai and Ming. The ball was right in front of him. He kicked it before the teacher had finished talking. So you all think there was no way he could have avoided kicking the ball. First of all, let's clear up this point. There are two contradictory points of view, right? Some of you say that he kicked the ball after I'd spoken. The other version, let's see, oh yes. According to Liu Ai Kuo, the ball was kicked while I was still speaking. So it was inevitable. The ball was kicked after the teacher had spoken. Had she finished speaking or not? No, she hadn't finished speaking. Yes, she had. Then it was before. Tell us, Jia Yanming. I kicked it after she'd spoken. So it was after. Jia Yanming says so himself. Then why did you do it? Why didn't any other comrade say something? Instead, some people laughed. Liu Ai Kuo even told Jia Yanming to sneak over and get the ball back. Do you think that was helpful? Jia Yanming kicked the ball because he likes to play soccer. That's why he kicked it. It's no big deal. <laughs> then it was for love of the game, is that it? Yes. You really think that his love of the game forced him to kick the ball? What do you think, Jia Ming? When the ball's there, I kick it. No harm meant. We only have one ball, so when you can kick it... Do you really think that when you're involved in a game, you can't control your feet? No, love of the game has nothing to do with it. They broke the rules. If they want to play, they have to follow the rules. That's true. Since you can control your impulse to play on the street, you can also control your desire to play here. So, can you resist the love of the game? It's up to you to decide. Some of you are saying that when you see the ball in front of you, you get carried away. Is that what you think? No. As a red guard, he should have had self-discipline and followed the rules. Kicking the ball was wrong. He's got to change. And be sure not to break any more rules. Just one thing. Comrade Wen Chiyan also loves soccer. It's his weak point, as we all know. But I think he can overcome it. We've tried to solve this problem before. At meetings, often he'd miss meetings to play soccer. Since then, he's changed even more than we'd hoped. So I say that it is possible to overcome this weakness. Another thing, we can put a soccer ball anywhere we want. If we don't touch it, it doesn't move. If we kick it, it moves. It's obvious that a ball doesn't move by itself. I say that people are masters of their own acts and that the player controls the ball. That's true. If you kick the ball, it moves. If you don't, it doesn't. That's all there is to it. I don't agree. It was love of the game. 
Well, what's gotten into you? There's still no agreement? Tell me if our reasoning makes sense to you. Let's see now, you soccer players. At first you said that it was too late to hold back the kick. Then you claimed that the kick was for love of the game. Xiao Kun, you're their leader. And you're protecting Jia Yan Ming. What are you trying to prove? I agree. I think that love of the game had nothing to do with it. The ball was kicked by a person. It's the person who's in control. If you kick the ball, it moves. But it doesn't move all by itself. This argument for love of the game is wrong. Well, I still think that's it. The ball was kicked because of love of the game. What's going on here? At first, you all said that he couldn't help kicking the ball. Then you started on the idea of love of the game. Even though we've tried to reason with you, you keep on defending the wrong idea. Why? Are you going to let us analyze Jai Yan Ming's problem or not? And especially you, Xiao Kun, you're their leader. Instead of helping me, you're encouraging the worst. All this about love of the game and the impulse to kick which can't be controlled. Do you still think you're right? Wait a minute. You're the one who asked us to speak out, and now you won't let us talk. The reason I said what I did was not to protect Jai Yan Ming. We've paid a lot of attention to what the others have said. I hope you're willing to accept my way of learning. You're not being patient enough. You asked us to speak freely, so then we can also express ideas that are wrong. If you repress criticism, we can't speak freely. Xiao Kun has paid attention, so maybe his ideas have changed. Let's give Xiao some time to think about this. We should give Xiao Kun some time, some time to think things over. I'd like you to consider what I've just said. I thought the soccer players were all trying to protect each other. So when one of them spoke, I didn't want to listen to him. I was annoyed. But there's some truth in what they're saying. Xiao Kun has paid attention to the discussion. I didn't think his ideas had changed because I assumed he was just being stubborn. I'm in a bad mood and I'm being too subjective. This isn't the first time I've had this problem. I accept your criticism and I ask Xiao Kun not to hold this against me. Now let's go on, all right? Actually, there are two reasons why I kicked the ball. Love of the game was secondary. The main reason is a result of what happened in class the other day, when I forgot my cup. Mrs. Cao criticized me, and so did Mrs. Tong. She criticized me too. I was very upset about it. When Mrs. Tong told us to stop playing, the ball was right in front of me. Not to kick it meant losing my pride. So I kicked the ball out of spite. I've just come to understand that I shouldn't have rejected the teacher's criticisms. I just wanted to get back at them, and I was wrong. I'll take their advice and try to change. <laughs> Jian Ming has spoken very well, hasn't he? It's been a good lesson for me, too. I knew that Jia had kicked the ball after the teacher had told us to stop. But I still defended his version of what happened. I thought I should stick up for a friend. If Jia hadn't brought it up, I would have completely forgotten about the problem with the cup. Now everyone knows about it. It's true, I did criticize him. When I went to my next class, I forgot about it, but he continued to hold a grudge. As for me, my bad mood and my own bias got in the way and I underestimated your political consciousness. I thought that everything the soccer players said was to protect Jia. 
I assume their way of thinking about things was all wrong. Actually, their ideas were changing, but I didn't notice it. I was so impatient that I didn't listen to them. Instead, I told them off. This attitude is the opposite of what Chairman Mao teaches us. He asks us to carry out every task carefully. My repressive attitude and my irritability have gotten in the way here. At first, I thought this was just a little thing, really nothing, and I didn't care about it. But what my classmates have said here has shown me that it's a question of being more self-demanding. I think the meeting's gone very well. What do you think? Just one more thing. Now it's up to you to play some good soccer and follow the rules. The meeting's over.